Hi, everyone. Welcome in. This is Automating Retail Document Processing with AI Powered uh, Data Extraction. Thank you for being here. As you're coming in, just go ahead and drop a note in the chat. Let us know where you're joining us from today. Uh, we serve customers from all over the world, and so we're always excited to see what what corners we're reaching today. Um, and then if you have a question, if there's anything that you, you know you want to get out of today's webinar, go ahead and let us know that as well so we can make sure that we're we're serving you the way that we want to and we're answering all your questions. Hi, Justin. How are you? All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about who we are and what we do. Uh, and then we're just going to right into it and start talking about some uh, common invoice processing challenges, uh, some data extraction approaches that you could take, and then uh, about our tool specifically. Uh, then we're going to show you a use case based demo of the solution and get around to answering all your questions. Um, and uh, we're focusing on retail today, but we're really focusing on invoice processing. So if you work in a company that handles invoices in any capacity, you're still in the right place and you're still going to get a lot out of today's webinar. So I'm going to tell you a little about uh, Astera and who we are and what we do here. Uh, we help businesses get more value out of their data using less of their time. And we do this by building one of a kind AI powered ETL and document processing solutions that anyone can use regardless of their expertise. Um, and we serve a variety of customers across various industries. Uh, so uh, once again, uh, retail is one of those industries. So if you work in retail, great, we're so happy you're here. Uh, if you don't work in retail, we're happy you're here too and you're gonna get a lot out of today. Um, and so we have something um, exciting today for you. Um, we have a, a survey because we just want to learn a little bit about, more about your data extraction processes and how that works at your company. So we have a QR code on the screen that you can use or you can fill out the form using the link that I'm dropping in the chat. And that's going to take you to the survey. Just a few short questions uh, about your data extraction processes or your document uh, processing. Um, and then you're going to be entered to win a $50 gift card at the end of today's webinar. So make sure that you stay tuned until the very end of the webinar. And we'll go ahead and draw that name and make sure you get hooked up with your gift card. Um, and that link is just going to be live for a couple minutes. So go ahead and do that right now and make sure that you are entered. And with that, I am going to go ahead and toss it over to you, Mike. Today, we're joined by uh, Mike O'Quinn. He's a CTO here at Astera and Faizana Lee, who's our product expert. Uh, and my name is Brooke Bethel. Uh, so thank you for being here and I will toss it over to you, Mike. Thank you, Brooke. Um, thank you everybody for coming today. Um, today, like Brooke said, we're gonna be talking uh, about invoice processing and maybe not just invoice, it doesn't really it's not really specific to invoices. It could be invoices, purchase orders, remittances, what have you. So any sort of document that's being passed between partners is gonna be relevant for this conversation. So on the screen here, you see that we're gonna start off talking about like a persona. And this is basically amalgamation of many of the our experiences with our customers that um, you know have this type of challenge. And it might be, a, uh, in this case, like a supermarket chain. We're going to call it Astera Mart. Uh, they have many branches across North America, and they are uh, basically ingesting over 300 invoices daily. Um, it's a high volume of invoices from multiple suppliers, and each of these invoices uh, have a set of distinct layouts. And they might not all be 100% you know, distinct, but it's going to be, um, many of them are going to have a disparate layout. And the man, and it, all of this is processed manually by a 10 person team. And because of the manual uh, nature of the processing, the turnaround time to get the data out of the invoice into the ERP system and back to the supplier um, is taking around 15 days. So, you know, what's holding this company back? So let me go to the next slide here. So if they're, let's say they're trying to scale, what's holding them back from being able to scale or maybe be more efficient in their processing. So number one, it's going to be, you know, integration issues. So you might have a system of record like an ERP system or something. And to get that data into the system, it's either going to be manual or you're going to have to code some sort of system and to do that. And which which might be, you know, an expensive project with, you know, expensive coders. You might have multiple systems that you need to get into. Um, another issue might be the lack of visibility. So because we're doing all this manually, it's not being tracked. 
Um, it's just being entered into the data and that might lead to errors and expensive corrections later down the road. An expensive correction might be a duplication of the invoice. Um, you might have to train the staff accordingly in order to do, be able to do this kind of processing. And maybe their time is be uh, better spent doing the job that they're hired for, maybe some sort of domain expert, but instead they're spending their time, you know, doing manual data entry into another system. Uh, another, situ another issue might be data security, right? Because now you have uh, many different people touching uh, a lot of this data, it's being passed along in different steps along that way. And you don't know, you know who's seen it, uh, what happened to the data. It might lead to data breaches. Maybe you have it in multiple systems, like in a, an access database or an Excel spreadsheet somewhere, and who knows who has access to that data. So that's another concern um, where you might, that data Asteromart might have in, when they're scaling to maybe 300 invoices to 3,000 invoices. So, you know, what's the, sorry, excuse me. So, so the ideal solution would be something that's easy to use and doesn't require an extensive amount of training to be able to, uh, to use it. And you want to be able to have something that can extract data from multiple invoices with different formats automatically, ideally, and then notify of any errors that happen in the process. Um, you want to write the extracted data to the system of record like an ERP system and then repeat the process at set intervals. This can be uh, time based or maybe a trigger such as when the invoice arrives and of course ensure data security and maintain privacy. So what um, what are the options available for you know, this supermarket? So it could be you know you can continue with the manual data entry. And that's going to have all of the kind of the drawbacks that we've been talking about so far, slow, error prone, um, use uh, soaks up your data, your resources. Um, then there's things like OCR, optical character recognition, which is good. Um, it's basically able to read the data from it, but that's only half of it. You have to not only read the data from it, you have to kind of map that to the system or the format that you needed to get it into. Uh, you might have named entity recognition, which is basically finding certain keywords out of um, out of a file and being able to, to extract the data from that. That works pretty good for uh, predefined sets, but doesn't work so good in tabular data and something like you might see line items in an invoice. Uh, then you have rule-based templates, which are very good um, and if you set them up, and that's the only downside. So you set them up once, you tell the system how to read it, when it sees that file again, it knows how to read it and extract the information. So this can ensure that you get like 100% accuracy from it. The only downside is that you have to build these templates. And if you're talking about hundreds of different types of invoices, you're talking about hundreds of templates, which could, you know, soak, uh, you know, eat away at your savings in the first place. So a lot of a lot of setup uh, time ahead ahead of time, but you reap the benefits down the road. Which brings us to, you know, Astera. So we posit here at Astera that we have a better way to do this. And that is with our zero code AI powered data processing technology. So it can extract, validate and integrate all automatically. So you can extract from many different types of layouts, main, you know, get tremendous amount of accuracy by way of automation, eliminate the need for a manual review and ensure you know, whatever document that your partner that you're working with, ensure your compliance with them. So this is a little slide where we're kind of talking about what this looks like. And um, it moves from left to right. On the left side, you're going to see the sources and Astera can connect to any, any one of these sources, whether your data, is, whether your invoices or documents are coming from an email, whether they're um, landing from other, some, some other system landing on a network drive, um, landing in a cloud drive such as SharePoint or S3, um, connect to a web service, any kind of API web service you can connect to, and of course, any sort of FTP directory we can uh, pull and make sure it can, you know, detect any sort of file there. As soon as, the, as soon as that file comes in, it can automatically start the processing. What files can it process? Um, it can process any kind of flat file such as a CSV or fixed length file, hierarchical files such as EDI, XML, 
um, JSON, um, and unstructured files such as report files or PDF files. And then once we, uh, once we kind of um, capture that data in one of these sources, we then give it, we then pass it on to our data extraction engine, which is AI powered now, which the AI can recognize what type of document it is. It's then going to apply the um, you know, RAG system to it to be able to extract the information, basically extract the format that you're looking for out of the system and um, basically form a, a model of data uh, based on the format that you're looking for. Maybe it's the format that needs to be ingested into your ERP system, uh, maybe a database table, what have you. And the nice part about it is that it's using, uh, it's based on an LLM or a large language model. And the nice part about this is that it can be an external model such as chat GPT, like everybody knows, or it can be an in-house model. Maybe you don't want your data to go to a chat GPT. It can use an in-house model such as Llama. And then the net after the data is extracted, it's then passed on to the mapping engine. And this is something that Astera has had for over a decade now. Top of the line, easy to use data mapping and processing to get the data from the, you know, in, you know the disparate invoice format into your format, and then finally passed along to data preparation where you can do data cleaning, um, you, uh, invoke um, user-defined rules, and validate the data to ensure you know the data is not just that you're extracting it correctly, but it came correctly in the first place. And then finally being loaded into a destination such as a database, an ERP system API, um, and all of that to you know be, uh, to support let's say like a BI tool or something. Okay, so why is there? Uh, number one, it's because it is completely code free. So you can, everything is drag and drop. There's no coding required, point and click. And that means that you can use, um, you know, it's a short learning curve. You don't have to learn any sort of coding. You don't have to hire expensive, um, you know, analyst or uh, consultant. And you can leverage the resources that you already have. The people that already understand the data, you can train them very quickly in order to use this tool to set it up and start processing off the bat. It's uh, much faster than uh, manual processing, as we've talked about. Um, AI is going to do much of the heavy lifting here, being able to identify the different formats and they automatically extract that out and then combine that with our workflow automation system. So once the AI kind of knows what this file looks like, it's going to learn the second time. So for the second file, it's not going to have to ask the AI. It's not going to say, hey, what, you know, can you extract this information? Once it does it the first time and uh, and we're satisfied with it, we can then apply the automation to it. So basically the second time it comes, there's no human interaction at all. So you can bring down the uh, invoicing time or the turnaround time. Maybe it takes you three minutes to do process this type of invoice. It can be down to 30, 30 seconds or, or less. So I think based on our own internal research, we calculated that it was about a 98% reduction in keystrokes and processing and what's using this system. Okay, so also the other reason is data accuracy, right? So because you're doing this automatically, uh, you're eliminating all of the human error that's, that goes hand in hand with processing these files. So, um, and you know, because manual processing is notoriously error prone, and also the system has a lot of semantic capabilities. So it's able to infer, like as if you're getting data, let's say, you know, invoice number, invoice NO, invoice hash, it's able to understand that this is in fact an invoice number. So a lot of that, you know, having to kind of guess, a lot of the guesswork is taken out and handled by the system automatically. So, um, and you can achieve, you know, up to 98, 99, 100% accuracy depending how you know, your, the complexity of your use case. Okay. So uh, another reason is that it can save money. So based on studies by level research, the, we found that this particular type of invoice that we're talking about was taking about $15 when you add up the time and effort spent by the resources processing it. So just by the systems that you know we've been you know, touting before, which were template-based with OCR, 
you could bring that cost down to about four bucks an invoice. Um, and now, pretty exciting with AI uh, on top of that, we can bring that down to under a dollar. So all of this uh, can save you a lot of money by uh, doing automation plus AI. Okay, and then of course you can speed up your uh, approvals and keep your suppliers happy, right? So you have a shorter turnaround time, fewer errors, more visibility, and this in turn will improve your partner experience, right? Less, fewer unha unhappy partners with errors, with the uh, counting errors back and forth, and maybe even taking advantage of some sort of program because of the quick turnaround time. Okay. And then we have uh, data and uh, you know, privacy and security, right? We, we talked about a little bit about having this automated means that it's, you know, there's fewer hands in the cookie jar, fewer people to, that have to be in front of the data. And of course, with the Stara systems, the data is encrypted and we have tracking for the file. So the, when the event happened, the file came in, invoice came in, it's being tracked. This is what happened to it. Um, here's, you know, what time it was processed, how long it took what kind of errors were happening, and then what happened to the invoice after that. So the system is completely secure, encrypted, and a good way to maintain uh, data privacy and security. Okay, and of course, uh, Astera, as always, the Astera systems have always been uh, scalable and flexible. So they, it works at scale. It can handle large documents with many transactions, as well as many small documents maybe in, uh, with huge volumes of those. Either way, Astera is equipped to handle either use case. Um, and you can let the system handle everything or insert user-defined controls throughout the process. So maybe you have, maybe we have a built-in approach for how to, how to uh, map data, but maybe you see that you don't like this mapping, you wanna intervene and say, this is the mapping. You can totally do that as well as apply your own validation rules at every step. Um, and then as far as being able to process, you know, large volumes of data, um, Astera is completely scalable and multi-threaded. You can throw multiple servers at it and, uh, to increase throughput if needed, if need be. Okay, so which brings us to kind of the star of the show now, and that is our new feature called AI Templateless Extraction. So everything I've talked about so far has been in the context of you know automation and uh, being able to eliminate the human uh, manual processing. And this is something that Astera has had for years and years and it's worked great. But now we have something called AI templateless extraction. So one of the big um, challenges with, com with uh, companies that would use our uh, software was that they would still have to, you know, if I had 300 different uh, invoices, I had to build three different different, 300 different templates to be able to teach the system how to um, read that. So, which is fine because, you know, it's it still saves you a lot of money doing it that way. But now with this new feature, we have something that can automatically do it. You don't have to build the template. You just let the large language model um, add it and it's able to intelligently identify what type of file it is, what, you know, who the partner is that it's coming from, how that layout maps to your layout. And then you start from there. So a lot of the mapping and validation can happen on the other end of that. The AI part with the LLM does the, all of this um, automatically. So it's very exciting. And this is kind of where I'm gonna uh, pass it on to my colleague Faizan, and he's gonna show you an example of how our system works and how you can just build the one flow to handle many different uh, types of uh, invoices. Okay, with that, I'll hand it to Faizan. Faizan, you're up. Thank you so much, Mike. So, hello everyone. This is Faizan Ali. Uh, I am Senior Data Solutions Architect here at Astero. And let me actually take you through how uh, what we are going to see in the demo today. So, uh, this, this is an uh, overview diagram of what uh, our solution is to, doing. So, in this case, we are reading data from invoices. So, you can imagine any uh, folder either on local directory or on cloud like s3 bucket or sftp server and you have to specify that folder and just put the invoices in that folder after that 
the complete process is uh, totally automated and you don't have to intervene un unless you want to. So once you put the invoices there, our system is going to pick it up and extract the data uh, as per the decided data points that you want to capture from it uh, with the help of our AI powered uh, template less solution. And then you can do further data cleansing and data validation to that and write it to uh, database destination. Uh, in this case, we are using SQL Server. And from there, you can easily see how your data looks on, on your uh, dashboards. So uh, this is how uh, the, the whole process is going to work like. But from the perspective of someone who's, who just want to put the uh, extracted data into database, it's just a simple drop of the files in a particular location, right? So with that, let me take you to my screen. All right. So uh, this is the UI of our tool and uh, Astaya Report Miner is basically a client and server architecture tool, meaning what you're seeing right now here, it is a client uh, where you design your processes, uh, where you, uh, you know, uh, create your own pipelines, either extraction or data integration pipelines. And then there's a server running on the backend that is responsible for processing those pipelines and also automating them. So you can design a process, put it on a server to automatically run on some kind of trigger or either synchronously as well. So uh, this UI is very intuitive. There's no requirement of uh, coding or scripting. It's all drag and drop interface. Uh, you can see on the center, we have the canvas where you can put uh, various tasks, various objects and connect them to create a flow of your process. And it works with the help of this toolbox on the left hand side from where you can simply drag and drop tasks like this and then connect them to other tasks, right? So it's as simple as that. And let me take you through this uh, pipeline that we are, uh, we have already uh, built here. So first of all, we are receiving the file path of the file of the invoices that have been dropped into the folder. And then we are passing it to our first task, which is extracting the data with the help of our AI based solution. And then it's putting it into a staging CSV file. And once this process is successful, it's going to pass the control to the second process, which is further uh, uh, going to validate the, the, the CSV file. And if the data is validated only, then it's going to write it to uh, the database. Otherwise, it can create a log file for you uh, to, you know, further investigate where the error came in. Now, once this process is done uh, and everything is fine, it's just going to delete the source file for keeping the folder clean. Otherwise, if there were some errors and uh, they were written to log, it's going to automatically send out that log file uh, to the concerned user uh, via email. And after that, you can move the source file to some other folder for archiving or for further investigation. Right? So let's take uh, the, let, let's go through this whole process step by step. First of all, we have this AI based extraction process and it is uh, what we call a data flow. And you can uh, say that a data flow is a simple process that can extract information from various sources. It can transform or validate the data that you are extracting and then write it to any uh, of your uh, you know, uh, preferred destinations. And in this case, we are taking the file path and some other parameters uh, as input, putting it through our uh, AI based solution. And then in return, it's going to uh, give us the CSV data, which we can write to a separate file. And you can see this, uh, this extraction part is as simple as just mapping a few uh, data points. So here, uh, the par parameters we are mapping is the file path, the column names or the data points that you want to extract. For example, in an invoice, you can say that, uh, you know, the uh, invoice name or sorry, the invoice number or invoice date can be a data point. Similarly, uh, if, if you go into the details of line item, then the uh, line item number or the description, quantity, price, anything, they, it can be your data point. And along with that, it's also taking the document type as an uh, input. So in this case, the document is invoice, but let's say if you want to process uh, purchase orders or packing slips or some financial statements, anything at all, right? You just need to parameterize the right 
keyword for that document here and it's, it can extract data very easily from it right? and once that data is extracted it's it's been written to a csv file here now once that file is created the next step is to further validate that data and that we are doing in uh, in another data flow now here we are taking the invoice as an input which we just created and then passing it through this uh, quality check which we call data quality rules and you can think of it as a rule book uh, or a checklist where any of the rules from from this checklist is failed it's going to mark that particular record as uh, an error or warning and the rest of the data can can be written to your database destination and the erroneous data that you uh, marked or the system marked can be written to a separate log file which you can further investigate right and the the beauty of this uh, rule book is or any of uh, or any of the uh, tasks that our uh, tool has is that they are completely reusable so you can create one rule book and reutilize it for various processes so for example in this case i have various rules defined so first of all is that is, is the null check meaning the invoice number which is the the, the uh, most important uh, data point i would say uh, it should not be null, right? Because it's it's the reference point of that particular invoice. Similarly, uh, it's a business rule that if the quantity of any line item is uh, less than zero, uh, maybe it, it's incorrect or maybe it's a back order that you want to uh, write to a separate file, right? Or uh, something as simple as, you know, the format of the uh, date of that invoice should be correct. So you can very easily define uh, these rules. And this, this is kind of like writing a function inside an Excel file, right? And that is the highest level of uh, expression writing that you have to do in our tool. Uh, otherwise, everything else, else is uh, as easy as, you know, simply dragging and dropping and connecting them together. So uh, this is the process. And of course, once this, uh, this process completes, then the uh, again pipeline is going to check if there were errors or not and send out notification along with the, lo with the log files uh, if there were any errors. Right? Now let's see how the file looks, files look. Okay, so we have three different files here. Let me actually open them. And you can see this is the first file, then we have another invoice and then the third invoice. And you can see the layouts of all the invoice is uh, pretty much varying. So for example, in this case, you can see that uh, we have amount as the header uh, for, for the line item totals. And here it says totals, right? So not only the location of the data points uh, where we want to put them from uh, is different, but also the header may vary. And that's the beauty of the LLM based solution that it can uh, take the context from the semantic uh, understanding of the data. So it has the capability to semantically match the total uh, of, of a line item with the amount, right? And, and, and of course, much more than that. So these are the files that we are going to process. So let me show. So here we have these invoices. I'm just going to copy them. <clears throat> and paste them in this uh, drop folder which our system is uh, watching right and in this case it is basically a local uh, uh, directory but you can imagine it being a, an, an ftp or sftp uh, directory or a, an s3 bucket or in some cases our customers uh, they prefer uh, using email as a as a as a valid uh, you know uh, inbox so in that case, you can specify an email uh, account. You can specify a particular folder in that uh, email account. And whenever an email comes in with some kind of attachment, it can download that attachment and process it through the whole process. And you can see that it has picked up the files for processing because it's the, their name has been changed. And now it's moving them, right? And this automation is done uh, with the help of a component that we call scheduler. So let me take you to that. Right. And this is the scheduler and uh, you can, you know, schedule new jobs. You can simply click here to create a new job. You can give the, uh, uh, give the file path of the process that you want to uh, schedule. Uh, let me copy that. 
right? You can give the file path here. You can select the frequency. It can be either a synchronous frequency like hourly, daily, weekly, or it can be a trigger based frequency like we are using here, uh, which is uh, done with the help of when file is dropped. You just need to provide the directory path that you want to watch. If you want to put some kind of filter like, you know, uh, process only PDF files, you can write it like this and just save it. And then you don't even have to, uh, you know, open the client, only the server needs to be running on the backend and it can very easily, you know, automate the whole process. That's it. Now, um, once the data has been written, you can uh, see how quickly it's going to be represented in your insights uh, like this, right? You can see that two invoices have been processed successfully, uh, shows its revenue, uh, distinct items, etc. So that, that's how quickly your files can be processed uh, within a matter of few seconds from PDF to, to your dashboard, right? And if uh, any invoice is not processed, which is uh, if, in, in this case, there's one invoice that was not processed, uh, you can see that I received an email that there was some kind of error. The file that has been processed has some errors and it, it also gives you this uh, er error log file that you can further investigate inside our tool. So to do that, you can see that this is the log file and it gives you the information exactly where error came in. For example, in this case, the call quantity rule that we uh, uh, created, it failed. Maybe the, uh, the file had incorrect information. Maybe the data extracted was not uh, as per the mark. So it gives you exact information where uh, the error came in, right? And then you can further uh, reprocess the file and correct that these mistakes very easily. So uh, with this, I would like to conclude my uh, demo. And uh, let's just summarize how, how what, what, what we saw. So let me take you back to the slide. Okay. So just to summarize, uh, a shared solution is the one where you don't have to write any code. Uh, all the processes that I showed you, they were simply drag and drop and you can build these process very easily. These are very easily customizable. Uh, you, if you want to change the destination from database to let's say Excel file or some kind of CRM, you can very easily do that with the help of the toolbox that was available. Uh, it is AI powered, uh, so the, it, it is very flexible and uh, it, it's the, it uses the most latest technology that we have today. Uh, of course, with the help of AI, we have now made the whole process layout independent, meaning you don't have to define uh, where each data point is uh, existing in, in a particular invoice. The AI tool, the AI LLMs, they are smart enough to automatically uh, capture those data points. Of course, it's efficient uh, within a man matter of seconds, you can see how quickly you can uh, take out data out of your PDF, you can validate it, you can transform if you want, and then write it to your target destination. And of course, uh, it's, it's very much cost effective uh, because if you try to do it manually, it's going to take not only your time, but resources which are costly. And this, these are the benefits of using our solution. But uh, in addition to this, uh, we at Astera has a very, uh, very capable customer support, which is, uh, which you can see with, by the, uh, by, by the awards that we win. We, we have, uh, we have consistently been winning various awards for our customer support and our customers very much appreciate the help we provide them in building various solutions. So with this, I would like to pass uh, the control to Brooke. Brooke, over to you. Thank you, Faizan, and thank you, Mike, uh, for the, the demo and for all the information today. Um, uh, you'll see this QR code on your screen, uh, and that's just a way to get in touch with us. If you like what you saw uh, and you want to talk about your data specifically and your operations specifically, that's a conversation that we'd love to have. Uh, so go ahead and click that link or scan that QR code, and that's going to take you to a contact form. Uh, and then if you have any questions that we can answer today, whether it's about the demo, whether it's about document processing, invoice processing, uh, uh, go ahead and drop your question in the chat. Uh, I see one about connectors, asking what kind of uh, connectors that we offer for um, data integration through different systems. Uh, if uh, microphone is on, if you want to go ahead and take that question now. 
So is this uh, the question uh, like a database or a uh, system connection, like an API? Is that the question? Is, can you be a little uh, bit more so specific? What types of connectors do we offer to facilitate data integration across various systems? I mean, we can pretty much connect to just about anything, either natively through one of our built-in connectors. I, I don't think Faison kind of showed the list of connectors that we have, uh, but we can we have a wide variety of them. SAS, we do have a SAS uh, connector um, available in the tool. We, you can connect to SAS systems. Great. Um, and then if anyone else has a question, go ahead uh, and send that our way. Uh, in the meantime... Okay, I'm hold gonna... on. I, I think I misread the question. Oh, is, the, is there a SaaS version available? How much time? Okay. Yeah, so we uh, our system can be installed on-premise as well as in the cloud. And then there's another question here. How much time would it take to create and deploy this solution? Um, the answer is it depends, uh, but usually our uh, customers can get up and running in a matter of days uh, in terms and then as far as being able to get up to speed and training. We offer a three-day training package. Um, generally, that's all it takes. And then we offer professional services if maybe the particular customer needs more help. Great. And then uh, Steve asks if Astera uh, auto detects different document types. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I'm assuming like uh, you know, if this is a CSV versus an Excel versus a PDF or something like that, it, the answer is yes. And then beyond that, it can it can auto detect different types of documents within those document types. So, for example, I have a CSV or a PDF that's a purchase order versus a PDF that's an invoice. So that's kind of where the artificial intelligence comes into play. Great, and then uh, from Sanjay, uh, do you need to map an invoice manually at least once? That's the cool part. Great question. The answer maybe last year was yes, and the answer now is no. And this is all due to the power of artificial intelligence. So now you don't even have to map it once. The system can understand it and then you can verify it um, and that's all you need to do. And if, in case you don't even have to verify it, you could just roll with the AI map that it gives you or um, uh, evaluate it and override it if you need to. Great. Um, any other questions uh, before we conclude today? Uh, you can go ahead, if, there, if you do have another question, go ahead and type or use that contact form. While you do that, I'm gonna draw a winner uh, from the uh, form that y'all filled out earlier. So we can go ahead uh, and get that information to you so you can be looking in your inboxes. Um, and our winner is Anna Taylor. Uh, so Anna, we're gonna reach out to you via email, make sure that you get your gift card. Uh, and uh, we do have another question. Uh, Steve asks, can you manipulate data prior to ingestion into DB? For example, based on data change invoice number by adding a suffix prefix to the Oh yeah, absolutely. So that's something that we've had for years and years. Um, so that part, so think of it as the extraction of the data and then there's the manipulation of the data once you've extracted it, right? And the challenge has always been that, okay, when you have disparate formats, how do I extract the data from those disparate formats? Well, you have to write a you know, rule-based template system. Um, that we've, this is the part where we, we're leveraging AI to kind of say, okay, you don't have to write all those templates. But the other part of it, where now that I've got it into my canonical format, I need to manipulate that data. I need to put the prefix um, this, I need to you know, add this to that maybe do a validation role. That is something that we've had for years and years. And the answer is yes. Uh, okay, what other questions? Is that the last one or was I there think, another one? I think that's the last one for now. Um, I think there was one more, but I don't see it anymore. I think that uh, they might've deleted. Um, so if you uh, uh, reconsider and wanna, you can always uh, use this form. Uh, if you have any questions that we didn't get to, maybe you, you you think on it a bit, you watch the replay and something arises, never hesitate to get in contact um, with us. Um, but that brings us to the end. So we're very grateful that you all carved out 40 minutes of your Tuesday to be with us here today and to talk about AI powered document processing. Uh, we hope that you learned something new uh, and uh, we look forward to talking more in the future about uh, document processing. We have another webinar coming up in October that's gonna be specifically about healthcare documents. 
Uh, so stay tuned for more information about that. And with that, uh, oh. Ooh, we do have one more question if we have time for it. Do we have time can for one you, more? Can you pull rules from a table in a database? This is a very interesting question and very kind of timely because we just were working with a customer where they were doing just that. Um, they were pulling data from uh, another data. It wasn't a database. They had it in the spreadsheet, but they basically had these rules there and they were based on the rules. We're going this way versus that way. So yes, you can do it. And uh, it's something that we're kind of you know, we're working on this specific question kind of in the horizon. So the answer is yes, you can do it. And we have ideas to make that even better in the future. Awesome, thank you. Uh, all right, uh, so once again, thank you everyone. We really appreciate you showing up and participating. Uh, we're very grateful and we hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. Bye. Thank you. Everybody.